So here we have uh, the new Tegra X1 and the Shield. This is this is Android TV Absolutely. box right here. It is. And Android you just TV. launched it. We did. We just launched it. It is actually the you know the best Android TV. Well, coming over yeah. here, it's the best Android TV out there right now. And of course, when you buy a Shield, you get this cool controller. And it connects directly to that shield, and you can control all the menus and stuff. Let me pull it back here. Let's go ahead and whoop, this one's not connected, so yeah. get this one. What's going on there? Oh, that one? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, so this is the best Android box on the market, is it? It is. Well, it's at Android TV, and you know, the whole thing about Android TV is that this has actually got an X1 in it, the Tegra X1, which means we can actually show 4K content. So, you know, we can stream 4K, we can play back 4K, 4K Netflix, it's really incredible. Let's try to enter a game. Uh, enter a game. Let's try okay. to enter the, the big action game. Uh, which one was that? The right, well, we got Bomb Squad, that's fun. Uh, a Mortal Kombat, can we enter Mortal that one? Mortal Kombat, well, I haven't played that, we'll see what happens. So, all the Android games just load, and yeah. how many Android games are optimized for home console? Uh, there are tons of Android games, I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds. And we're, we're curating more and more games every day. So, on, on the Shield, let me show you the Shield real quick, the controller here. So, if you look down here, there's an app that comes with Shield that says Download Games. It's called Shield Hub. And all of these games that are shown here are actually tested by NVIDIA and curated to work really well on TV. Right, so all of these games are pre-tested to work on Android TV. Nice. Do you offer any help to the game developers to make it better? We do. We actually are working directly with game developers to do you know, ports of different content to make sure Android TV and Shield has a great ecosystem. So you could go to some uh, developer a really good touchscreen game and say, come on, let, let, let us help you for a let's, weekend. Or let's a make it work with the controller, right? That's, that's it's obviously, not that much, right? It's not that much. And there's APIs for that and there's SDKs for that. It's really not that hard to do. So let me show you, I like this game again. We come here and we're taking a look at, which one do you want to look at? The, the Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat, okay. So, so th those are actually games that people download, right? Uh, yeah, but if they download it, they also show us? Yeah. Shop? So if you kind of come down here, yeah. uh, we can look at, I guess that's Modern Combat. You want to that modern Combat, yeah. Here we go. Telling you how to play it. Now I've not played this game, so we'll see how it goes, but it should be yeah. pretty exciting. So. How good are the Android games so far? You know what? They are pretty darn good. If you're if you're looking for like high performance gaming, let's go ahead and play this thing. Kicking through, and I think I'm the daughter of a military commander. So Android games, I, I would say, you know, they're awesome. They're fun to play. They have great quality, and I, and like I said, if you're playing the local, you get 4K quality right here. Just try to knock it out. Sometimes they have uh, intros and stuff. So let's try to get through. Okay. All right, we're playing. All right. Okay, we got to shoot that dude. Yeah, so you're in total uh, into, oh. into the game right now. I am playing. And you're already shooting bad guys. Cool. This looks really, really good. So uh, really we're talking about a 64-bit uh, ARM. Is it octa-core? Uh, this is actually using our Tegra X1 processor. So it's a octa-core 857, 853? I am not, unfortunately, very sure of exactly what processor is in the uh, Tegra X1. Yeah. And, so, there's, a, and there's a GPU, the latest... Uh, this is Maxwell, integrated in Tegra X1. So if you think about it, it's got a high-performance GPU with a bunch of cores. It really just gives you a freaking incredible gaming experience on your TV. And it's super, super, super easy and fast. The other thing it's got, by the way, is if we kind of come back here, it's got a really easy, it's got a microphone jack built in so you can actually connect the headset. And there's a tiny little microphone there so you can use Android voice search for TV, right? So just kind of click your little shield saying, hey, what's going on with Android? So you can see it translates directly, even though there's no noise in here, you can use that to search for your best shows or TVs or genres or anything you want. So Shield is all about Android TV and making Android TV experiences great. So people buy it like this, uh, the box comes like this. With, uh, what is this? Well, actually, Shield comes with a controller. Yeah, for and gaming. you can buy the uh, stand and you can buy the remote control separately. 
So this remote, you can do it kind of, you know, it's got a little left, right capacitive thing. If you hit the button, it's got a built-in microphone. And also if you look on the top of this, again, it's got a jack so you can connect up a headset. So nice. think of it as you can be playing on your couch, listening to your movies in your own ears, uh, and not bother anybody else in the house. So this is $199? Yep. And how much is uh, this? I think the uh, I'm pretty sure $49, but let me double check okay. on that. But I am not sure on what the stand is. How much for an extra controller? Is it possible to buy? These are not... Because you want to play uh, two or three, four people, right? Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. It work? I think... Hey, let me check on the price for yeah. the shield controller. Let me see That's if okay. I can... Uh, I, don't, I don't remember the exact That's price. That's okay. Yeah. We'll check later. Yeah. And, uh, so let's go a little bit more in the UI. So uh, everything is fully optimized right now. Everything is super smooth. Oh, yeah. And the X1 is uh, an excellent TV. Actually, the X1 is inside this new range of Sony TVs, right? Oh, you know what? I'm not sure about that. Sure. I think I will it might I be actually because they have 4K YouTube. I think I think it probably is is actually the control processor inside the Sony TVs. Yeah. I am not sure of that. But but you are suggesting that you could be the market for a TV box and uh, I look at this as it is uh, all about Android TV. If you're playing, uh, if you if you like streaming, if you're ready to cut the cord, you can actually use Android TV, get access to YouTube, get access to Netflix. It's got all the home media streaming, so if you have your photos and your videos on a home server, you can actually access those directly. Um, you can use Plex and access your home videos directly. It's, it's actually, you know, it's a full TV experience. And this is, uh, I mean, the Google guys, I think we can trust them to, to make to, fit, to design the best UI in the world, right? For our TV box. It's definitely happening now, right? Android TV is very early, but the quality is dramatically improving, and Google's gonna make it happen. I'm, I'm, I'm totally confident that Android TV is gonna be very, very broadly accepted. So NVIDIA, you, are, uh, uh, you have a long experience of working with all the game developers to get them to get the games to the hardware. High quality, right? So, so you should be in the right position to get them to actually you know, make this the next PlayStation, the uh, next Nintendo. You know, I don't, I don't view it as a, a console killer. It's really more about delivering great experiences for TV. You can also play games on it. But if you're a serious high-end gamer, you're probably still going to want to want your console. You're going to want, and, and we're not against any particular platform. You can have everybody who plays games on consoles, plays games on PCs, or play games on your phone. Hey, now you can play games on your TV. Nice. So this is a jump from K1 to X1. There's a jump yeah, right now. Jump a big jump in performance. Yep. Both the CPU and the GPU is yep. a big jump. Yeah. And uh, great but, uh, performance. Uh, are you going to target the whole world? Are you right now? You, you uh, right, right now, now you're shipping in, uh, in the US. We're shipping in the US. We're actually going to be coming to Europe, and I'm not sure on the dates for Asia. All right, Asia. Everybody needs one. Everybody needs one. They're awesome. And we need to be able to buy. I think it's really cool that uh, Nvidia is doing hardware. Yeah. And uh, kind of like showing off the reference design, how to use the NVIDIA's processor. Of course. And uh, getting getting them out there. And hopefully, I'm hoping you sell many. I hope so too. You know, it's actually a fantastic device. I have one at my home. So I can tell you for a fact that the uh, Android TV experience is pretty darn awesome. And if people want higher frame rate games or something, they can stream them. You can stream from your PC. You can stream from the oh, cloud. What do you, so, how do you call that? This, uh, this so, I, you so basically, if you look on our, our little shield hub, here you can go to ga uh, stream games and you can connect to grid which is our game service and you can also connect to your local PC with game stream so that's also within the same menu yeah so this is where we would log into NVIDIA grid so you can stream games instantly from our servers but you can also if you have a local PC with GeForce experience on it you can stream your games from the PC directly to shield so how's it going with the grid because you launched it last year, right? Yeah, great. Is it, uh, are many people using it? Is it just in the U.S. or is it uh, Right now it's mostly in the U.S. And I would say that it's just growing, right? We're learning a lot about streaming. Well, people are enjoying games and it's going to get better what, and better. Which bandwidth do you need for it to be nice? Um, think of it like a movie, right? So it's it's streaming high quality movies to you. So you need the same bandwidth, right? Six, seven, eight megabit. Eight megabits are plenty. And it's really more about your upstream latency. So grid is obviously a round trip latency. So if you have a great upstream bandwidth and low latency, you get a great experience. Does that mean it works better for people in California than people in New York? Or do uh, you have to be close to the server? Or there are really? multiple servers all around the place, and the around latency the to a server, yeah, all around the place. And you have some in Europe? I am not sure of grid deployment right. in Europe. Cool. So, uh, and then you just have in the grid, you have a ton of big GPUs just working it is around a, the clock. It's actually uh, deployed games. in Amazon servers, 
And so you can actually think of Grid as virtual GPUs that everybody can access. And when you're accessing the GPU, you're directly talking to a massive server. But the X1 probably has a pretty amazing GPU which will have something that's kind of like better than a Wii U or better than a PlayStation 3 or something. Um, you know, again, it's not, it's not really a relevant comparison because it gives you a great gaming experience. I think the GPU performance is roughly equivalent to a PlayStation 3. But it is, uh, it's just perfect for a home game. Which could be enough. It should I think be enough. it is. It's not right? just a question you of play content. A you, you play a casual game, it's really good. It's just a question of content right now. Absolutely. If somebody needs to invest a billion dollars in content, maybe Google, <laughs> your friends at Google, could help get all the, the best, absolute best games here. You know, the way I look at it is content will come if the platform volume gets there, right? So it's a little bit of, as people are enjoying more and more of Android TV, more and more developers will be drawn to the platform, just like Google Play for mobile, right? So it's, it's, this, it's this network effect of installed base attracts content. And you have the best uh, business model, I hope, that you have a subscription plan that has unlimited games. Do you do that? Or not? Uh, yes. For Grid, it's a monthly subscription for accessing a game stream. Um, I think we've announced two plans for um, 1080p, which is a higher quality stream, 60. Uh, I mean, I, again, I don't know the exact price. Is it price. I think like it might be 14.99, but I don't quote me on the price. Yeah. But this is the, this is the, this is the what's it called subscription plan. I'd like to see you know when you go and download games. Yeah. There's no subscription for all the games? Um, this is all, you buy the game. Is it just free games or what? Oh, this is both free and pay. Um, but if you go here, back to stream games. But you don't have a subscription plan inside download games? No. Mm -hmm. But that would be the perfect thing. You can, so maybe right? you should do yeah. it, right? It's very early. Okay, I'm just giving you ideas. We're learning a lot, right?